Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully the compressor don't kick on. Uh, went back into this orange one. Uh, spark plug was actually kissing uh, the button top there. So I'm going to have to either put a washer under the plug, side gap the plug, or just file some of the file some of the electrode away and then re regap it to get the clearance I want. But uh, I went back in, I hit this thing hard. I don't know how it's going to behave. Uh, did a little bit more lower work. Did a little bit more upper work. Made the uppers a little bit bigger. I welded the chamber up to really boost the compression up on this thing. Uh, raised the exhaust up a little bit more. Uh, drop the intake a little bit more. Uh, retouched up the chamber just in case uh, I got any weld over into the chamber. Uh, so it's probably going to have three or four thousand more squish. I haven't checked it, but it's probably going to have three or four thousand more squish than it did before. But it's also got uh, seventy-five percent of the combustion chamber uh, filled in so I don't think that's going to really matter but uh, I gotta find some goop I don't like this ring that came with this uh, piston uh, must be a really junky ring because just what little bit of runtime and dyno pulls I had on it uh, it has a razor sharp uh, edge on the on the side of it so I don't think this ring likes the plating uh, on there, so I don't know what other rings that I have. This is an old zoom ring. Do not like the gap on that. That gap is huge. There's a little tension ring. Oh, the gap's even bigger. So I don't know what that really fits. Uh, let's see. I have a brand new Farmer Tech ring. I might get stuck using that. Uh, that's got a decent gap. So. Maybe we won't. Too sloppy in the... Yeah, this thing takes a fat ring. We might get stuck using that, that ring. Uh, dang on it. I'm going to have to do some looking. We might get stuck using this thing. Must, must take a big fat ring like a red barn piston. That's not cool. This is thousands of This ring is forty five. This ring is almost sixty. So awesome. Sometimes that's the price you pay for running old cheapo, cheapo parts that you're experimenting with. Uh, uh, I don't know if I got another old cheapo. Uh, well, hold on. This, this one got. Uh, Dang. 
Oh, we might get stuck running that. Bring the key with that piston on that. I've got a cable ring in this one. I think this is a cable ring. Yeah, right there. I don't know what you borrow if the, if the gap is good. This might not be a cable ring either. Yep, it says caber on it. Oh. We're gonna run that ring. Just a second. Well, at least I got a caber ring for this thing, so. Uh, should have a good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So right there's the ring I'm gonna run. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to have this thing glued together and uh, put all back together. Dubs sent us a brand spanking new OEM Walbro carburetor uh, for this build. Which is uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, he wouldn't take no money for it either. Uh, so thank you very much, TW. Um, it'll be going uh, in this this Chinese carb was giving me nothing but fits. Uh, I did have to clearance the this used crank I put in there might might have a slight not being quite straight because one side of the flywheel hits uh, versus the other but it could also be the flywheel itself um, so I did have to do a little bit more adjusting there it's either that or this crank scooted over or something uh, but yeah that's the that's another thing that makes me think this crank might be between the two is uh, on this side as well the wheel uh, hits and then on the other side the wheels not hitting and the flywheels doing the same thing so I don't know as long as she holds up it's not vibrating I don't don't really care it is an OEM crank but I just felt better running an OEM I used OEM crank in this build better than the Chinese uh, crank but uh, so yeah I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna work on uh, getting this thing put together and then uh, it's like 3 3 30 in the morning right now I'm gonna try to have this all buttoned buttoned back up I might take might take this piece out um, uh -oh. I might might try to run Joe's uh, yeah his bolts are different Both the, I think the 372 bolts are on. Okay. Well, once again, I won't be using Joe's filter. I'll find something to put that thing in. Trust me, guys. But uh, well, unless I could do that, I think I got an extra one of these. I could always drill, drill and tap this out, and. Uh, I might do that. I can drill and tap this out to that size. So I got metric taps right there. And then uh, I could just uh, bolt that bad boy on then. Uh, I'd have to make, I'd probably have to cut, probably have to cut or make a tab and bolted onto one ear that held the rubber grommet for the choke though so I don't know we'll, we'll cross that bridge after I get it running right let's get it running right first so all right I've blabbered on here enough you guys take it easy and have a have a good one